Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss about the grammar topic. We are starting from direct indirect, which is most important part of the grammar, and that is also the very important for exam purpose also. So mostly we have seen all the rules in standard ninth, but though it is. Uh, most important just we are going to revise all the rules here and then we are going to practice a lot of sentences here uh, this grammar topic will bring you three marks in board examination okay so let's start direct indirect speech so first you all know what we have to do in direct indirect speech this simple sentence yeah a statement will be given now what will what we have to do so we have to convert direct speech into indirect speech okay now just let me discuss that what is the construction of direct indirect speech so first now first what we have to do so total five changes take place when we convert a sentence from direct to indirect simple sentence will be just like this first reporter will be there then reporting verb then listener comma double inverted comma and then a one sentence will be there it is called reported speech <clears throat> now just tell me how many changes can take place there total five changes can take place there first change will be there in reporting verb now reporting verb will be changed according to the sentence according to the reported speech that is given in the bracket okay if the sentence given in the bracket is a simple sentence yeah assertive sentence reporting will be told if the reported speech is in interrogative sentence then ask will be there in short we have to make the first change in reporting verb in place of say says say tell tells so first change will take place in reporting verb and then what we have to do double inverted comma single inverted comma will be removed from the sentence and a conjunction will be used there then also here what happens conjunction will be used accordingly the sentence if the sentence given in the reported speech is assertive sentence then uh, conjunction will be that if reported speech is in interrogative sentence then reported uh, then conjunction will be either if or wh okay accordingly accordingly the statement now so first change in reporting verb second change in conjunction then total three changes will take place in reported speech first change in tense change in tense second change into pronoun change into pronoun and third one will be the words will be changed uh, suppose this is given then this will be converted into that now then today that day just like okay so just like some words that they can be converted now <clears throat> first what we how to do when we are going to appear for direct indirect speech first rule just identify the types of sentence 
total five types of sentences will be there. Five types of sentences will be there. First one will be assertive sentence. Second, interrogative sentence. Then third one will be imperative sentence. Then fourth one will be exclamatory sentence. And fifth one is optative sentence. In short, total five types of sentences will be given in your examination. <clears throat> now we have to identify. First, how can you identify that this sentence is called the assertive sentence? So, hint will be there. When any sentence starts with subject, then verb, then object is there, it is called assertive sentence. Interrogative sentence, how can you identify it? Question mark will be there. If any question mark is given in the sentence, it is called interrogative sentence. Now, imperative sentence, when any sentence starts with verb or don't. Just I am going to give you one example. When uh, any sentence starts with verb, it is called the imperative. Come here, go out, stand there, don't laugh, don't make noise. So all these sentences are called the imperative because they have started with verb or dot. Now exclamatory sentence is too easy. Exclamation mark will be given in this type of sentence. Then optative. Optative means some greeting words. Greeting words will be there. Greeting words will be given in optative sentence. So first rule is that we have to identify the types of sentences and the sentences will be only from these five, type, five types of sentence. Either it will be the assertive or interrogative, imperative, exclamatory or optative. Okay. In now, in next lecture, just we will learn about assertive sentence. Thank you.